Hi, this is MK from Aptor Institute. This is the first video on Aptor Institute's Research Radar. Today's paper is from Bart Diginen and colleague titled Test Retest Reliability and Discriminative Ability of Forward, Medial and Rotational Single Hop Test. Now the single leg hop tests are commonly performed to evaluate functional performance. However, most hop tests mainly consist of straight movements in the forward direction. The commonly used single hop for distance, triple hop for distance, crossover hop for distance, and the six meter hop for time. But most sports are not unidirectional. So why only test unidirectionally? Sports like basketball and football are multidirectional. So what about us using hop test in other directions? Using the medial side triple hop for distance? or the 90 degrees rotational hop for distance. In this study, 16 non-injured participants were recruited, consisting of eight females and eight males at an average age around 22 years old. They were tested twice, that's test and retest, and there was one week between each test. The authors concluded that there was an excellent test retest reliability of all hop tests the medial side triple hop and the medial rotation tests were as reliable as the single leg hop and the triple hop test the smallest detectable difference between test and retest is approximately 10 percent of the jump test so you now have two new hop tests to add to your acl rts toolkit courtesy of bart diggenen et al and these two tests shown to have excellent reliability. They are also more likely to show asymmetries in limb symmetry index compared to usual forward hop tests. So let us now look at how these tests are performed. 